All right, in this video, we're going to cover overruns and how they work in this system. Now, an overrun can be performed by any vehicle that has machine guns or other main armor in it against enemy single man or multi man counters in eligible terrain, clear, brush, low crops, road, or other module spe uh, specific terrain. And it can be done against fortifications like this bunker here if that fortification is in the eligible type terrain that I just mentioned. Now to conduct an overrun, a vehicle needs enough movement points to enter the terrain plus four. So in our example here, that road hex would cost him one movement point to enter to try to overrun this German squad. So he would need five total movement points to take and enter this hex and to conduct an overrun. If the vehicle has movement points left over after it's uh, completed, they can continue moving or even conduct another overrun if they have the movement point allowance needed to conduct another overrun. Now, to conduct the overrun, I've got a formula on screen for you now on how to add up your values, but it's relatively simple. You're going to take and add in your HE and any applicable machine guns. Remember, if you're closed, uh, asterisk type machine guns won't be able to be added. Our Sherman here is open, so they get to add both of theirs. Any leadership modifiers, plus two, plus one D6. So our uh, Sherman would have eight from its machine guns, three from its HE value, giving it 11, no leadership modifier, and then plus two, giving it a total of 13, plus a one D6 you would compare that against the defender's 1d6 roll, and if they were in a hex with a fortification, you could also add the fortifications modifier as well. So in this situation, it would be the Sherman's 13 plus 1d6 versus the German's 1d6 roll total. If the attacker is less than or equal to the uh, defender's roll, it's no effect. If they're greater, it's going to cause a damage check like normal with the difference added to it. So let's say our Sherman rolled a one and our Germans rolled a four in this situation. It would give the Sherman a total of 14 versus the Germans roll of four. You would subtract the four from the total of 14, giving a difference of 10 and that 10 would be added to a 1d6 roll conducting a damage check as normal against the Germans. Now afterwards, if there are survivors, they're allowed to conduct a close assault against the vehicle that did the overrun. We'll cover close assaults in a later video. Now after the close assault is completed, the vehicle, like I said previously, can continue on or can stay in the same hex that it conducted the overrun. If it stays in the same hex, surviving enemy multi-man or single-man counters either need to take and retreat to an adjacent hex, or if they're in a hex with a bunker, they can retreat into the bunker or stay in the bunker if they were already in the bunker. Any shaken weapon teams that are in the hex are just going to be eliminated. 